to Golden Gaming, where in this video of the Clash Royale series, where we're going to be doing ISPO. ISPO on ladder, where I'm going to be going through how to use ISPO, how to run ISPO, and how to win with ISPO. Now, <clears throat> ISPO doesn't really have many bad matchups apart from Beatdown. Um, however, Beatdown can be overcome with ISPO. So, yeah, I'm going to be going through that today. But without further ado, we're, gonna, we're just going to hop into the first ladder match where we're going to face Draco Ninja. Now, with Ice Bow, you kind of want to gain a ton of positive elixir trades on defense and then counter strike hard on offense. So, <clears throat> with this cycle, we're just going to kind of cycle our skeletons in the back and we're going to throw the Ice Wizard followed by a Ice Golem to fully distract that, <coughs> that Dark Prince and Dark Goblin. We're going to throw the Mega Minion on top just to kill that Dark Goblin to make sure our Ice Wizard can stay alive because it might be a bit helpful in the future. So we're going to log out the remaining of those Goblins from the Goblin Gang. The Ice Wizard did get a few pop shots in there uh, to chip down the tower a tiny tad but I'm going to cycle my skeletons to pull the Lumberjack and I might, I might actually tornado this as well. We're going to tornado that all into the middle of the tornado allowing the Ice Wizard to splash both the Lumberjack and the Mega Minion. We're going to pull, <coughs> we're going to pull the Dark Prince and also distract the Dark Goblin while also throwing a Mega Minion down on the Dark Prince or actually not Mega Minion I say. So it looks like the Mega Minion and the Ice Wizard are pushing up um, the Mega Minion does get one swipe on the left hand tower, the log is going to chip down the right tower. <coughs> Seems very good uh, for a good start. We're going to cycle our skeletons uh, in front of the King Tower, just to cycle through our deck back to our Tornado if he tries to bridge spam us again or something. So it looks like he's just going to set up another Lumberjack push, so we're going to get ready with the Ice Wizard. And we may actually pull it with a tornado, uh, with the ice going. With, we're going to follow that up with a mega minion and get ready with our tornado, which does pull everything into the middle. It pulls the mini packer, the dark prince, and what was the final troop? It was something else. So I feel like I'm comfortable enough to actually set up with an expo. We're going to log the uh, double gang. Okay, we're going to set up with an ice wizard defense. Follow that up with a ice golem. And then also following that up with the Mega Minion on top to then finish off both the Mega Minion and the Dark Goblin. So now that it's in double looks I feel like I can just pick up the pace a tiny bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put everything to the middle with the Ice Wizard and then follow that up with another uh, Ice Golden. <clears throat> we're also going to drop a Mega Minion to fully kill that Dark Goblin and that's also going to fight the opponent's Mega Minion on the other side. Now, I feel like I can just cycle my skeletons, cycle the ice wizards because I feel like I've got the ice golem to put anything he throws at me. And we've got Expo, we're going to go with the ice golem, and we're going to set up the mega minion. We're also going to pull the mini packer, we're also going to tornado everything in the middle. We're also going to log that away. We're going to use the ice golem as my log did miss. <coughs> We're going to use the Ice Wizard to kill off the remaining of that. We're going to use the Skeletons to pull the Lumberjack. And we may have to use the Mega Minion again. Okay, taking no damage from that Lumberjack. We are slightly behind in damage, but we are definitely up in Elixir. So we're going to use the Log for the Dark Goblin. And that's so we're going to use the Ice Golem to pull. So he's really trying to opposite push me, which is not really what he wants to be doing. Because I've got so many cycle counters, it's just not going to work in his favour. So we're going to cycle the Mega Minion, with the Ice Golem. <coughs> so now we've got a Mega Minion pushing up. So now we're going to cycle up with our Expo, log out that. We're going to use the Skeletons, followed by an Ice Wizard. We're going to use the Ice Golem to then pull off the um, Goblin Gang. And the Expo is just going to get a ton of value on its defense. We're going to cycle out the Mega Minion. <clears throat> so now, we can now put out another Expo and try and pressure him a ton more. So what we're going to do now is going to go Ice Golden. Uh, then we're going to go with another Mega Minion. And now the Expo is locked on with an Ice Wizard and a Mega Minion pulling up. 
we do get the Xbox connection, which does tear down the tower. We get a prediction log, hit all of the Goblin Gang, and hit the uh, Dark Prince. Mega Minion could get one hit. Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Okay, I'll keep in mind, we do have a rocket and a log to finish this game off if it does go to um, the point in overtime where it is too low. So I'm going to go with the limit, another Mega Minion and then just tornado everything so far away from the Xbox, followed by some more skeletons because there's no splash damage in this guy's deck. We're going to use the log to kill off the Dark Goblin. We're going to use the Ice Golem just to finish off. And the Xbox does manage to get the lock on because he was way too slow with that deployment of the Dark Prince. So now we're going to use the Ice Wizard just to fully distract that Dark Prince, even though it was definitely not needed. And that does put us into rocket range, which we're going to use on that tower now to pull off the victory. 40 seconds remaining in overtime, but we do manage to pull off the victory. Good game to our friend Draco Ninja. So pretty much the goal of that battle was to pretty much make sure you can kite anything he was trying to pressure me opposite lane. Like you can see, he was going Mini Pekka, uh, Dark Prince Goblin Gang, I was just logging down the Goblin Gang, making sure I had that log the majority of the time for that Goblin Gang, because the Goblin Gang can get tons of value if you do not have a spell to counter it. I was just distracting the Mini Pekka, the Dark Prince, with uh, skeletons, Ice Golem, again, Ice Golem and Skeletons have a cheaper cost than the Dark Prince and the Mini Pekka. So therefore cycling my deck a lot cheaper to my Expo, therefore getting tons of positive Elixir trades way faster. <clears throat> but now we're just going to hop straight into another ladder match against Lee Lion. So if he does manage to go with a beatdown such as Golem, Giant, I can then just pressure the Expo opposite lane and then just set up from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cycle, alright, so we're going to log the Spear Goblins to get a bit of chip in the left hand side. So it looks like our guy is going to try and attack the left hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and tornado all of the Goblins to the King, which does end up working in our favour. What we're going to do now is that since we are now up in Elixir, and a bit down in damage, we're going to go with the Expo. The Expo does connect to the tower. We're going to use the Mega Minion to try and clean up the Valkyrie. <clears throat> so what this guy's trying to do is he's going to finish my Expo with the Valkyrie. We're going to pull that one from Skeletons, therefore cycling our deck a little more. Uh, I don't need to log that because the Mega Minion does have enough health to take care of it itself. So... <clears throat> We're now up in damage from that one Expo connection. We're going to use the Ice Golem to distract that uh, big dragon. Looks like this is going to be a Duke Barrel. No, it is not. We're going to use the Log just to finish off those uh, those remaining goblins. Uh, what we could do is be a little bit risky and use the Expo with just an Ice Wizard, which is not necessarily good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the Hog Rider to the middle while also kiting. Uh, we don't actually kite the Valkyrie, which is quite unfortunate. What we're going to use is the Skeletons, plus the Log. <clears throat> so now we're down in the damage, thanks to that one misplay I made with the Hog Rider. We did take one hit on the right, and now what this guy can do is he can now throw any barrel, because I don't have any Log. So what he's going to do is I'm going to use the Tornado to um, not take any hits for two of the, uh, two of the three Goblins. So what I'm going to want to try and do now is, now we are in double elixir, so what I'm going to want to do is set up some a lot of defense on, on defense, then we're going to go Ice Golem, Expo, followed by an Ice Wizard, and we're going to pull the Valkyrie, Baby Dragon, and Spear Goblin, we're now going to use the Skeletons, we're going to use the Log to delay the Hog Rider a tiny, tiny bit. He's going to use the Freeze on the Expo. So we're going to use the, uh, the Ice Wizard just to finish off that Hog Rider. We're now going to set up with a Tornado just to pull all of those Goblins away. We're going to use the Skeletons. We're going to use the Ice Golem again. We're going to use the Mega Minion. So now we're going to have to try and set up a deadly Expo push. So we're going to go Expo again. We're going to use the Ice Wizard. And he does use the freeze to take down the tower. So what I couldn't really do there was get past the hog rider and most of his ground units. So yeah. 
So what we're going to be doing to finish off the episode is we're going to face off against one of my friends. So <clears throat> we're going to accept the friendly 1v1 battle and we're going to go straight into this match. So we're going to go good luck and we're going to go with a nice knight emote. So what we're going to do in this um, in this cycle is we're going to cycle our ice wizard in the back. <coughs> And we're kind of going to sit on the fence here and just place a little expo. What we're also going to use is some skeletons, plus the tornado, plus the log, just to try and get all of that away. We're going to use the ice golem to distract any skeletons that come out of the witch and from her death damage. So that's going to clean up the remaining of that. So we're slightly down in damage, ever so slightly. However, I feel like we are up in elixir. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the ice wizard, uh, plus the rocket to take out that um, uh, his expo. So now it looks like it's going to be an expo versus expo match. He is going to use the barbarian barrel to clean up the remaining of my ice wizard and my skeletons. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take one hit and. What we're going to do is we're going to cycle our Mega Minion in the back, which is going to therefore cycle through our deck a lot faster. So what we're now going to do is set up with an Eight Elixir push, which is going to be the Ice Golem. And we're going to use a defensive expo to try and clean up the remaining of the Witch. We're going to then log all the, the Skarmy and the remaining Witch. We do miss the Witch, but the expo is locked on to the Witch, which should tear her down. The tower is going to clean up all of the skeletons. We're going to use the skeletons of our own to pull. We're going to now use the ice wizard to slow down both of the bar barrel and the mini packer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ice golem. And we're going to set up with an expo of our own. The ice wizard is going to take care of that. We're going to wait for the log. We're going to log down all of the skeletons. Well, actually, we didn't really need the log there because the ice wizard did manage to... Well, the ice gold did manage to pull that. We're going to use the bar barrel to pull that barbarian away. We're now going to set up with an ice golem again. We're going to use an ice wizard. We're going to use an expo on defense this time. And we're going to try and cycle all the way back to another expo to then place on defense. Because if you can manage to get one expo on defense and then one on offense, you've got two expos continuously shooting down any troop that is in the path of any uh, any of the opponent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up with an expo, followed by a log to finish off that mini pecker and the skeletons. We've got two expos on the tower, and now there is absolutely nothing that our friend Levi can do. The expo is going to finish off that right-hand side tower, so that is a GG, a well played with a thumbs up. <coughs> So therefore, it was a good ice bow video. We did lose. T uh, we did. We lost one of the three matches. So therefore, having a 66% win rate. But therefore, it was a fairly good match. But we did end up pulling uh, two out of the three matches with a victory. But overall, a decent episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this little episode on ice bow. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to Golden Gaming down below. You can follow us on all social medias and. Hit that notification bell to be notified of any Class Royale videos from the dates to come. But without being said, this has been Josh from the Golden Gaming team. And I hope you guys do take care and peace.